Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I like to bring you my thrift videos and my what sold videos and a little bit of reseller content in between. So today I have what sold for me on those three platforms the last two weeks of November. So that's November 15th through the 30th. And I had some really good sales and I'm excited to share them with you. So I think we're gonna start off on eBay. And the first thing to sell was this vintage trip tie-dye hoodie that I picked up at a buy sell trade store. And I think I paid $11 for it. And I probably originally had it listed for close to 50, but gradually kept lowering it. So I finally accepted an offer for $35 on it. And that more than tripled my money. So I was happy with that. And she's already left positive feedback. So that's always a good thing. <laughs> Okay, and then I sold some toiletries, and we all know I don't show all that on here. We'd be here all day. And the next thing to sell I was really excited about, even though it barely sold for what I paid for it. But as you guys know, I've been trying to move out dresses and purses so I can have some more storage. So this was a Coach Metallic Glam uh, Soho Op Heart op art shoulder bag and I probably had it listed up to a hundred dollars when I first got it which has been years ago but I accepted a best offer of $45 so glad to see it go like I said I probably paid that for it so breaking even is okay okay next thing to sell was this duo maternity turquoise top I picked it up because I wanted to try maternity but it only ended up selling for $6.77, so I probably won't be picking up maternity again. Okay, I need some coffee. My allergies and the wind is blowing, and it finally got cold here in the desert. See, I have a flannel on. But it's just playing havoc with my allergies. Okay, next thing to sell was this Karen Scott, what I call Gypsy Meets Cowgirl shirt. It was a denim damask <coughs> embroidered button front, long sleeves, all the, you know, verbiage. And I only paid $3 for it, and it ended up selling for a best offer of $18. I just really thought it was cute somebody would like it, and hopefully she loves it. Okay, next item I picked up because I didn't know anything about ski bibs or athletic wear of that type. So I picked these up at a Goodwill a while ago for $5, I think. And I had them listed really high because they were vintage and they were Mr. D's and, you know, I didn't know anything. So they ended up selling finally for $29.77. And they're going to, I think, Wisconsin. So, yeah, they're probably already skiing there. Okay, the next item I've had for at least two years. And it was this gorgeous Jessica Simpson chiffon feminine lightweight dress. I mean, it was beautiful. Had, like, textured dots on it. Just gorgeous. So, I had it listed pretty high and it never sold. So, I think I lowered it to $35 and someone sent me an offer of 30 and yes, hallelujah, it's out the door. And the next item to sell was this Christmas dress, penguins, it had penguins on it, it was really cute, but I knew I wouldn't wear it so, and I got tired of storing it, I probably had it for two years. So I sent it out to auction, I think I started it at $1.77 because I wanted it gone, and it ended up uh, selling for $4.40. So I'm happy with that. And the next item to sell, I haven't had listed too long. I actually bought this for myself, but I thought, eh, I'm not going to probably wear it, so might as well list it. So I think I paid like $5 for it doing re retail arbitrage. <clears throat> but it was a pretty turquoise. Had Sorry, I'm freezing. 
had embroidered uh, flamingos on it, pink flamingos. And it was like the flamingos were the three wise men. It was so cute. And um, I think somebody sent me a best offer of $13. And yes, I gladly accepted that. And the next item, um, you guys that watch my haul videos, my unboxing videos, I got this ugly Christmas sweater in a men's box. And it had kitty faces on it with, um, you know, the hats. And I thought, this is a men's sweater. But when I measured out the arms, yes, it was a man's. So I thought, okay, I'll never be able to sell this. But surprisingly, <laughs> somebody sent me an offer of $15. And yes, hallelujah, it's sold. It's out the door. Okay, the next item to sell was my favorite. It was my favorite for a lot of reasons, but one being I paid $3.99 and two for how much it sold for. So this was a Crabtree and Evelyn Wisteria set. I guess they don't make this uh, fragrance anymore. So it was a body wash, shower gel, and a lotion. So I ran comps on it and was shocked. So I definitely scooped it up, put it in my cart. And I didn't have it listed maybe for a couple days and kept getting offers on it. And I think I had it listed for $60. And I countered someone who I think offered me $45. I countered at $55 and they bought it. And what's great is it's going to Canada. So hopefully she loves her set and... I'm just glad that was a quick flip. Be on the lookout. This is a brand to be on the lookout for. Retired fragrances and stuff. Okay, then I sold some more toiletries. Next item I sold was this Roundtree in York Performance Thermal. And why I'm laughing is because I keep thermals in one of two places. So when I went to pull it, it wasn't in the first place. It wasn't in the second place. And I'm thinking, did I donate this? Why would I donate this? So I'm in my room one day and I'm getting in my dresser drawers for something. And I think to myself, you know what? I wonder if I sock this away in my thermal drawer thinking I was going to keep it. And sure enough, that's where it was. So thankful to find that. I hate when that happens when you sell something and then you can't find it. Rush around like a crazy woman. So anyway, it sold for a best offer of $15 and it's out the door. Okay, then I sold some makeup items and these next items, this next item I paid $2 for and I bought them for me for sweatpants and they were Cheetah brand, which I had never heard of, um, size extra large and I tried them on and they were way too long. And they were way too big, even though they had a tie at the waist. Yeah, I'm not going to walk around and have my pants fall off. So I listed them. Nobody bought them. They sat and sat. So finally, I thought, I want these out the door. So I listed them at auction. I think I started it at $0.77. Cents and somebody um, ended up uh, purchasing them for $1.25. So I'm glad to see those go. The next item I'm wondering if I underpriced because it was listed less than 24 hours when I started getting hit with offers. But I had run comps on it and priced it accordingly, so I didn't understand. But anyway, it was this cute vintage Coca-Cola toothpick dispenser. It was really cool. It looked like an ice chest. You could open the top and it had a little bottle opener thing on the side. Really cool. So I priced it at $20 because that's basically what the comps were. And somebody offered me, I think 15 right off the bat. And I'm thinking, okay, I must have underpriced this. So I countered back at 17 and surprisingly they accepted. So even if I underpriced it, I only paid $2 for it. So that's more than four times my money and I'm happy with that. Okay, another drink. Heat just came on, so now I'm really gonna probably start coughing. Okay, the next item to sell was this Great Northwest uh, tie-dye Henley top, and it was, I just like the pattern on it. It was in a size 1X, and I purchased it for $4 at Goodwill, 
and it ended up selling on best offer for $13. Surprised because it's sleeveless that something's like that selling in the winter. Okay, next item to sell, I was gonna keep for myself, but it wasn't in my thermal drawer. Luckily, it was in my closet. So this was a St. John's Bay uh, striped a thermal long sleeve pullover shirt. And I didn't think it would ever sell because it had some, some uh, discoloration on it. It wasn't really staining. It's like maybe bleach hit it or something. But anyway, it ended up selling for my full asking price of $19.77. So, yeah, I won't be wearing that this year, but that's okay. All right, next item to sell I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale a couple of months ago. Because I wanted to get into trying men's sports items and golf and all that. So I picked up two of these and I think they both were Callaway. The thing with this one was she sent me a best offer of, oh actually she didn't. She purchased it outright for $11.77. And then when I went to ship it, it was like suede on the top or something and it was flaking. And it looked more used than what I had disclosed in the listing. So I took more pictures of it and I messaged her and asked her if she still wanted it because I told her about, you know, what I found, discovered when I was trying to ship it. And she said, oh yes, I knew it was used when I bought it and I'm okay with that. So how nice was that? So that went out the door for $11.77. Great return on a dollar. <clears throat> Next item to sell were my friend's pajama pants that she never wore. And I thought, okay, these will, you know, never sell. But because they had a minion riding a unicorn, I thought, well, maybe. So I looked up the comps and they were selling for around $10. So I listed mine at $9.77. And they sold on eBay. And when I went to delete them on the other two platforms, I couldn't find them on Macari, so I thought, okay, I haven't, you know, maybe I didn't list them there. So I went ahead and shipped them out, and the next day they sell on Macari. I can't sell squat, except I can sell a pair of pajama pants. Not only once, but twice. So I had to message um, the buyer on Macari and explain the situation, and they were real nice about it, but still. Macari search needs to update so that you can find the item so that it can be deleted. Yeah, their search system leaves, you know. Anyway, okay, moving on. So I sold some more toiletries. And then the next item to sell was a soft surroundings, cozy cardigan sweater. And I paid $6 for it. I was so happy to find it at Goodwill. And then it just sat. I had it priced accordingly, you know, to the comps, around $35, but it just sat. Interest, but no offers. So I ended up lowering it to $30, and someone sent me an offer of $25, and yes, I'm going to accept that because it took up a lot of space. But will I pick up soft surroundings again? Probably, but it just depends on the piece. And she also, I'm reading this, it says, what a pleasure you are. May blessings abound to you and to yours at Thanksgiving always. Stay safe and stay healthy. How sweet. And this was a lady that purchased two items from me. And they were two t-shirts that I was going to wear. In fact, I wore one of them, I think, in a video. So the first item to sell was this uh, Warhorse Tucson graphic t-shirt, size extra large. It was beautiful. It had the beautiful horse embroidered on the front. Problem is, it said Tucson, and I'm thinking, okay, this is probably going to sit for a while. But I just loved the colors. It was like in a terracotta. It was beautiful. So she purchased that, I think, for $17. And then the next one, I think, or maybe she purchased that one for $12 and the next one for $17. So the next item in her, per, in her bundle was this Johnny Cash size extra large t-shirt graphic walk the line. I don't think I ever got a chance to wear that, which is a bummer. It was really pretty. It had the uh, graphic on the front, it was oversized, and both of these were in excellent condition. So I shipped them both out to her and she was happy with them and that sweet little note. I always love to get those notes on eBay. And then I sold some razors, a bunch of razors. And then I sold this three 
uh, peace meditation and energy audio cassettes. These were given to me free at a garage sale a while back. So I just lotted them all together and sent them out to auction for $9.77. And that's what they sold for. Well, I pick those up again, probably if they're free. Free is for me. Okay, next thing to sell was mine. It was this Crofton Bureau eyelet lace on the front, uh, scoop neck, three, four sleeves, kind of like a t-shirt. And I was done wearing it and it really didn't have high comps. So I went ahead and sent it out to auction for $1.77. That's what it sold for. Then I sold some hair color and some more makeup. Oh, this was a great sale. So I've had these Kula Burrow by Ugg boots for probably three years. Bought them for myself. It never got cold enough here in the winter for me to wear them. And um, one of them was a slight color differenti differentiation than the other one. That's not why I didn't wear them. It just never got cold enough here. But anyway, so I had them up uh, for sale for probably 75 or 80. Nobody, no bites. Finally, I thought, you know what? I need these out of my house. So I lowered the price to $69.77, which basically covered what I paid for them. And, and that's what they sold for. So I was glad to see those go and I haven't heard anything back. So hopefully she's loving those and has some place where it's cold enough to wear them. Okay, next thing to sell, love selling boots. Were these Justin 522 men's lacer roper boots with a kilty? What I did was I had, I've had these for a while and I think I probably had them priced at 55 or 60. I don't know. Anyway, what I did was I updated the photos on it and relisted them for $49 and 77 cents. And that's what they sold for. Love selling boots. So the next item to sell, I picked up a Goodwill not knowing anything. And I think I paid $3 for them. They were these vintage jumbo 55 piece dominoes. They actually originally sold on Macari, but then the lady messaged me wanting the measurements of the dominoes. So I measured them for her and she said they were smaller than what she needed. So she wanted to cancel the transaction. Okay, no biggie. Now I know that the vintage ones are smaller. So what I did was I included the measurements on the you know, listing on eBay. And someone sent me an offer of $18 and I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell was this beautiful Ghost Softly house coat denim. Short sleeves had the embroidery around here. And then I think it was a snap front. And it was just, the embroidery was just beautiful. And people love their house coats. I know I like them too. So this one was in a size medium, a little bit too small for me. And I think I listed it at 30 and someone sent me an offer of $27 and I gladly accepted. Okay, next thing to sell was a Tommy Bahama Polo uh, Performance Island Zone shirt. I'm thinking, did I include this in my last what sold? Cause it actually, they didn't pay for it until this what sold. Anyway, if I, Already showed you. I just thought it was funny because I picked it up just because of that embroidered fish. And I only paid $3 for it. And it ended up selling for $16.01. So hopefully he's happy with his shirt. And the next item to sell was mine. And it was this um, hard goods. Vintage Crazy for Cats phone holder. But it was meant to hold the older phones like the Motorola Razor. And so I thought, well, somebody may want it to just use it as a tchotchke. Who knows? So I listed it, I think, for 20 because it is vintage. And someone sent me an offer of 10 and I needed to move it out. So, yes, I'm going to let that go. And then I sold some Glucerna snacks. And I think that's it for eBay. Okay, so we're gonna move on to Poshmark. I actually had some good sales on Poshmark, which is shocking, and I had a bundle, so exciting. Okay, so the first thing to sell, I picked up uh, at Goodwill, paid $5, 
and got it home and found a few holes in it. It was this cashmere uh, sweater, and I think it was from um, Saks Fifth Avenue, yeah. So I disclosed that in the listing, and somebody ended up sending me an offer of $25. Yes, I accepted, so glad to move that out with three holes in it. So the next thing to sell, I think I wore one time in a video. So I listed it as Gently Loved, and it was this Buzz Spiral uh, rainbow tie-dye t-shirt in a size large. I think I paid uh, $9 for this on retail arbitrage, and it ended up selling for my full asking price, which is on Poshmark is practically unheard of. So it sold for $30, and I was happy with that. And the next thing to sell, I picked up a while ago and paid $4 for it at Goodwill. And it was this rude intarsia skull and bones pullover sweater. Really pretty. And it sold for $17 best offer. I wanted more money for it, but I have so many sweaters and I needed to move them. So I was happy with that. And the next thing to sell were these Forever Patchwork High Rise Distress Jeans in a size 20. The thing is, they're Indigo Rain, and Indigo Rain is basically a junior's brand. In fact, I've never known them not to make, or to make anything besides juniors. But these were a size 20, and definitely not juniors. So I thought, okay, I'm never gonna sell these, but they were so awesome. And I think I might have done this in my last uh, what sold video, but they're actually showing this month. I don't like the way Poshmark has it set up where you can't really tell when exactly and they're not in order and yeah, they need to update that. So if I really already shared this with you guys, I apologize. Anyway, I was so excited because I think I had them listed for $30 and they actually sold for that. So that makes two for two on Poshmark. Happy. Okay, the next item was this Kiss Hotter Than Hell graphic t-shirt in a size 2X. And I paid $5 for it at a garage sale a while back. But I think it had a flaw. I can't remember now. But I had it listed for $25 and it ended up selling for $22. So I'm happy to see that go. And the next item was a bundle of four items. I'm going to try to remember this. Let me see if I have this down. Okay, so the first part, I was just shocked. I mean, she didn't even send me an offer. I have a 20% off two items or more going on in my, in my closet. So she got that off. But I was just blown away. My first bundle over two ever. So, yay! Hopefully there's more. First item in the bundle was these Laura black velvet leggings in a size medium. Beautiful. I bought them for myself. They ended up being just a little bit too big. So I listed them. And like I said, I'm not going to know exactly. You should be able to see on the screen exactly what they paid, what she paid for each item. But I think I had these listed for maybe 25 and I think she paid 30 because they were in the bundle. And the... The next item I bought, I think I paid $3 for at Goodwill, and it was so cool. So retro. It was a ringer t-shirt, had uh, Coca-Cola on the front, and it was in a size large, and I'm pretty sure she paid $20 for that. And then the next thing was mine that I never used. They were a three-piece fingernail rings. So you put them on your nail, and they point, they had gems on them and everything they were gorgeous so I think those were 20 and then the last thing she bought was also mine it was a blast light black lace choker and I don't know this wasn't the choker it was a black lace and it wasn't mine it's a black lace slave bracelet and ring set so it had the you know rhinestone ring and it was attached with the bracelet and I think that ended up selling for 16 in the bundle. So those four pieces total, she paid $76 for. And did she leave? She didn't leave feedback, so. 
No feedback is good feedback in my eyes. Okay, so the next thing to sell, I've had for a long time. I was so excited when I picked these up at Goodwill and I probably paid $7 for them because they were Kohan and I hear other resellers having good luck with that, me not so much. But they were these Chelsea ankle booties in a size seven and a half. They were brown leather and they were just in great condition. So I probably had them listed at 50 and kept relisting them and they eventually ended up selling on best offer for $40. So I'm happy with those. Happy to see that go. Hallelujah. Next item I've had, oh geez, two years. So this I picked up uh, Goodwill Auctions and I probably paid $20 for it because I was going to keep it. But then I got it and it was too small for me. So it was a 10 karat gold created sapphires and CZ slide necklace. Really beautiful. And it was boxed. So I probably had it listed for $65. But I really wanted to move it out because I've had it for so long. So somebody sent me an offer of $47. And I accepted, so glad to see that go. Hallelujah. Hate having things over six months, let alone years. Okay, next thing to sell I was excited about because I knew nothing about this. I picked it up at Goodwill, probably paid $5 for it. And I didn't even know the brand name because I couldn't read it. And come to find out it was Pearl Izumi. And Pearl Izumi is a cycling brand that resells for really good money. I actually picked this up because it's a jacket and it was in this pretty teal color. I mean, it was just gorgeous. Great condition. So I get it home and I run comps and I'm so excited thinking, oh, I can sell this for $50 or more, blah, 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 blah. Well, it eventually ended up selling for $40 and that's a great return on five. So be on the lookout for those Pearl Izumi pieces because some of them can bring pretty good money. Okay, moving on. This next one I bought for myself and it was, I'm trying to see who this is from. It was a uh, turquoise find your tribe, hand painted cactus t-shirt, really pretty, gorgeous color, loved it. And I think I had it listed for $25 and somebody sent me an offer of $22 and I gladly accepted. Next t-shirt I was going to keep also. I purchased this doing a retail arbitrage. In fact, I'm thinking, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, bear with me. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I did sell that. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. Poshmark needs to update this. You can't even tell what you sold. Well, you can tell what you sold, but you can't tell when you sold it by the way they have it set up. So the next item to sell, I was going to keep for myself. And I purchased uh, doing retail arbitrage. So I paid $11 for it. And it was this French pastry Joshua Tree graphic crop top t-shirt in a size extra large. I sold a lot of extra large t-shirts this month. I'm just now realizing that. So I think I probably had it listed for 30 and someone sent me an offer of $25 and I gladly accepted that. Now I really think that is it on Poshmark. I did want to tell you guys, I actually had a sale on Bonanza. My eBay store is linked to Bonanza and every now and then a sale will pop up through there. I'll get a notification from PayPal. And I'm thinking, eBay doesn't even use PayPal anymore. What is it? And then it'll hit me. Oh, yeah, it came from Bonanza, which is great. I mean, you know, it's kind of uh, passive income. But it's it was a Kate Spade red Micah's Pond wallet, leather wallet. Really pretty. Had listed forever. And I think I probably had it listed for $75. This is another thing. I don't understand how they bought this for $57.74, which is a weird number. Maybe I was running a sale in my eBay store and you know, that's what it's sold on. But anyway, I probably only paid $20 for it. So I'm really glad to see it go. Handbags, wallets, 
dresses, all that stuff out the door. Happy with that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Macari, which I had a few sales, surprisingly. Okay, first thing to sell was a good sale, and it were the, it was these Portolano uh, black cashmere fingerless gloves. And they, I think I had those listed for $55, and someone sent me an offer of 50 and yes, I accepted that. Okay, and then the next item to sell was, when I hauled this, I wasn't sure this was SpongeBob. Like, hello, who else looks like that? So I picked it up at Goodwill, paid about $4 for it, and it was this Lisa Frank and SpongeBob collab t-shirt in a size medium. And it was a tie-dye, and it was the des more desirable Lisa Frank. And I think I had it listed for 25 and someone sent me an offer of 22 and I gladly accepted. The reason I keep looking down is because you can't find anything on, on Macari. They sure need to update this whole thing, so I have it written down. Okay, next thing to sell was this hand-tooled horse... Uh, horse belt with buckle that I picked up at the only, well, actually that was the first church rummage sale of the, after COVID. And I only paid a dollar for it and it ended up selling on best offer for 19. So that's the first belt. I have plenty of belts and have had them for months. That's the first belt to sell. So hallelujah, I sold a belt. Okay, and then the next thing to sell was mine. It was this Dolce & Gabbana black dust bag, satiny material. And I think I had it listed probably too high, probably for 30 and someone sent me an offer of $20 and yes, because I'm not going to use it. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. And then the next thing to sell was the other Callaway Woodhead driver thing that I picked up at that yard sale, paid a dollar for. This one was in better condition, and it was a big Bertha. Had some apples or cherries or something on it. I don't even remember. And I had it listed for $12, and I only spent a dollar, and that's actually what it sold for. So happy with that. And then I think this is the last thing to sell on Macari. And geez, was it a doozy. And I'm going to tell you about this, even though I don't usually include my toiletry items and stuff. These were five big heavy bottles of Gold Bond Lotion. And I knew they weighed a lot, like six to seven pounds. So on Macari, I chose FedEx. And then I think I had them listed at $30. Well, when I sell stuff on Macari, I forget about, you know, exactly all the particulars because I very rarely sell anything on there. So I went ahead and accepted a best offer of $20, not remembering that I had to ship at FedEx, which means I have to drive it up the road to drop it off at the FedEx drop-off location rather than have it picked up from um, USPS. In fact, that's my USPS pickup right now. So see, I like having my stuff picked up at my house and not having to drive up the road. And these were heavy. So I had this huge box. I have to go into Dollar General and the two girls there don't know how to do any of it. And I have to have some kind of paper trail, even though I'd already printed a label. So eventually they figured it out, but I have to remember about these items that sell on Macari. But other than that, I was happy to see it go. So, okay, I'll be back with my totals. Okay, so I'm back with my numbers and way up from, um, the last, they're the first two weeks of November, so I'm happy about that. So let me see, I didn't add up, okay. I actually sold 60 items, which is almost double what I sold the first part of, the, of November. And on Poshmark, I had 14 sales for a total of $287.37 after fees. And on Macari, I had six sales for a total of $124.41. And on eBay, I sold 40 items for a total of $641.07. So my totals for the last two weeks of November, or my total, was $1,052.85.
Hold on, my cat wants to say hi. Say hi, Ziggy. Is she up there? Oh, there's a Ziggy kitty. <laughs> He's mad because it's treat time. Okay, so that is before my cost of goods, but after the fees and the shipping discounts. So yeah, I'm thinking hopefully things are continuing to pick up going, you know, into December. So far sales seem uh, fairly good. So I hope you guys are having great sales too. And Ziggy says, we'll see you on the next one. Ciao.